course. Let's take a look one more time at your Huntington Bank highlights of the game brought to you by Huntington Bank. Early on, Cincinnati get a break here of a shot off of Harrison Reed skate. And then it would be the Cyclones once again. Aubin was stopped there, but uh, the rebound was there for Maury Edwards. He made it 2-0 Cincinnati. And then here on the power play, a little miscommunication there. And Dan Eves made it 3-0. Then the comeback started for the wall line. Yeah, this is where it became fun. Riley Emerson tips a pass in front, and it's all of a sudden it's a 3-1 game. You can feel the momentum switch. Great hustle by David Taves, and Joey Martin, as he said, just was able to wait, put it in the back of the net, and Joey Martin, our team leader, in points, adds on to his total. And right here, Todd Griffith got it to the back of the net. We're in a 3-3 tie. And that one went to overtime. With Brian Rupin, I could have got about six more inches on his shot. Toledo would have walked out of here with two points. And as you said earlier, once you get to a shootout, really there's not a favorite. And today, Cincinnati was better in the shootout. Toledo was better the last two days. Yep, Toledo winning two shootouts in a row before losing this one here today by a final count of four to three. The next Toledo Walleye home game is March 18th here at the Huntington Center a Sunday afternoon. Four o'clock start time. Get your tickets now at ToledoWalleye.com. Well, that's going to do it from here at the Huntington Center. For my broadcast partner, Bruce Johnson, and our entire crew, my name is Matt Melzack. Once again, your final score, the Cincinnati Cyclones 4 and the Toledo Walleye 3 in a shootout. <laughs>